Hi, I am Asuka Gauri and in this video I'll show you how to download and install Oracle VM VirtualBox Hypervisor software on Microsoft Windows 10. This software is available for free from its official website and it may be used to host a variety of guest operating systems such as Microsoft Windows, Linux and Solaris. Here's a list of the key topics that I'll be covering. Number 1. Major features of Oracle VM VirtualBox. Number 2. Download this software. Number 3. Install this software on Windows 10 and number 4 create a virtual machine Some of the key features of this software are it is completely free. There is no licensing fee associated with it It runs on top of a host operating system such as Microsoft Windows Linux or Oracle Solaris It allows us to create multiple virtual servers called virtual machines These virtual machines share their hardware resources such as CPU memory disk and network of our physical computer. It supports a variety of guest operating systems including all versions of Microsoft Windows, popular Linux distributions, Oracle Solaris, OpenSolaris, OpenBSD and OS2. A guest operating system runs inside a virtual machine as a complete independent operating system. It is easy to create virtual machines, share hardware resources among them and install guest operating systems. We can download a copy of VirtualBox from its official website, which is www.virtualbox.org. Here's how we would download it to a Windows system. www.virtualbox.org So this is the official website, download VirtualBox 5.2. 5.2 is the latest major release. And then over here, VirtualBox 5.2.4 platform packages. These are the binary files that we need to install. They are available for Windows operating system. They are available for OS X systems, various Linux distributions and Solaris host as well. For our purposes, we're going to download the one available for Microsoft Windows. Click Save File. After the software has been downloaded, double click on the executable to begin the installation. Do you want to run this file? Sure. So click Next here to begin the installation click uh, the next button again to install the software at the default location on the C drive. A couple of checkboxes here they are all selected so leave them to the default. One of them is to create a shortcut on the desktop and this one here is to create a shortcut in the quick launch bar, register file associations, create start menu entries. I would click next. And here is a warning about the network interface that the installation program will reset your network connection and briefly disconnect you from the network. Proceed with installation now? Sure. Yes. And click install to begin the installation. The installation is going on right now and uh, installation is complete. If I click finish here, it will bring up the VirtualBox manager interface and as you can see in the left hand pane there are several virtual machines CentOS 7, CentOS 7.3, Ubuntu, OpenSUSE etc etc that I already have on my system. Let's create a virtual machine for CentOS 7.4 installation. Click on the new icon here to start the wizard. Let's select CentOS 7.4 for this virtual machine. The Linux is already selected. Other options are Microsoft Windows, Solaris, BSD, OS2, etc, etc. And Red Hat 64 is also automatically selected. Click Next. One gigabytes of memory will be allocated, which is perfect, which is fine for this installation. Click Next. We have uh, two choices here. Create a virtual hard disk now which we are going to select. The other option is to use an existing virtual hard disk file if one is available. We're going to stick with the create virtual hard disk now option. Storage format options are available. The first one is VirtualBox's own VDI VirtualBox disk image. The second one is Microsoft's virtual hard disk format. The third one is VMware's VMDK. So let's stick to the default VDI format. Click next. And here we see two options. The first one is dynamically allocated and the second one is fixed size. The dynamically allocated option is used when we want the hard disk space to be consumed as the virtual machine and the guest operating system requires it. And the second option fixed disk will allocate 
all the space right away so let's again stick to the default dynamically allocated and click next 8 gigabytes of storage will be allocated by default we can change it to 4 gigabyte 16 gigabytes 32 gigabytes and so on or we can simply type a number right here and provide a specific disk size and this is the name of the virtual machine file that will be created to store the image of this virtual machine click create so 727.4 virtual machine is created it is powered off at the moment on the right hand side it shows general information about this virtual machine Santo 7.4 is the name Red Hat 64 bit is the operating system 1024 megabytes of memory is allocated to it boot order floppy optical and hard disk and 64 bit hardware acceleration is also enabled there is only one hard disk which we allocated appears here there is nothing else there is no optical drive connected to the virtual machine at the moment and the network interface is Intel Pro 1000 MT desktop and it is using network address translation and this brings us to the end of this video for more details and for help with RHCSA, RHCE, CompTIA, Linux Plus and LPIC 1 certification exams see my latest publications as shown on this slide most of the information presented in these books is also applicable to Linux Foundation certification exams LFCS and LFCE. Thank you for watching.